what we do again. <laughs> Get it right this time or we're going to have to keep doing this. <laughs> Weekend in review. And Friday for me was crunch time baking. I had to bake all the cinnamon rolls. Not all of them because I think I made like a lot <laughs> and froze them. But I made about one, two, three, four, five, six, six pans at least of cinnamon rolls and iced all the sugar cookies. Yes, that's what I did. Friday? Friday. Did I? Nope. Friday I baked the sugar cookies so Saturday I could ice them. Good morning. Welcome to Saturday. Yes, good morning. I woke up bright and early and got a bunch of stuff out of the freezer that I had baked ahead of schedule to get ready because I got my first Christmas party today. So I got a bunch of cinnamon rolls out and these coconut cherry chocolate dipped macaroons I made ahead. Mac made up a couple gift baskets from stuff I made yesterday. Mm -hmm. Todd made breakfast. I did. It's like a inside out omelet, I guess you could say. Cooked up some sausage, some red onions ahead of time. Basically made scrambled eggs, put the sausage and onions on top. Oh, well, with some of that, um, the last of, we had a little jar in the fridge of some of that cowboy candy. So I chopped up some of them jalapenos, threw some cheese on top, stuck it under the broiler, let it get all crispy because someone really likes crispy cheese. I just had the first bite, it's amazing. <clears throat> little sausage gravy on top and we're gonna have some breakfast now. What's the plans for today? Um, I have some more presents to wrap, leftovers from last night. Mm. Um, I need to do some outside work. Oh, I know what else I made this morning. I made those uh, cookie bars. Those magic Christmas cookie bars, you know, like the oatmeal mm -hmm. mix and stuff. Those look good. And for me today, I made uh, the Christmas cutout cookies yesterday. So this morning I have to ice them all so that they're nice and dry and ready for the giveaways tonight. And that's about it. I got some new kombucha brewing for Christmas. Probably gonna do a little work in the garage today too. It's supposed to be almost 40. I have a lot of tools out from last weekend from our bathroom renovation project. I still have to put all that stuff away, organize things a little better, take advantage of the warm weather. Mm -hmm. So with the warm weather, I headed straight outside and left Rachel in the kitchen to finish up all of her baking. One of the things that I've been wanting to get to since the pigs are no longer here, the way that things were set up was the pigs were here, the goats were here, and they shared a common electric wire. The pigs had one that ran around the bottom of theirs. The goats had one that ran around the top and they were connected together with a jumper wire. No pigs, we don't need to waste energizer solar power since it's winter and we're not getting a lot of solar. I wanted to disconnect that jumper between the two and move the solar energizer from way over on the pig gate over by where the goat gate is. So it'll make things a lot easier going in to take care of the goats. You don't have to walk all the way to one end to turn it off and then all the way back to the other end. And mission was accomplished. I did sink a new ground rod um, all the way back over by the goat shed at, or the goat gate and I couldn't get it in the ground very far. Probably could have whacked down it a little bit longer but permafrost. Yeah I'm not really <laughs> sure. <laughs> but those, some of those grounding rods I have are like eight feet yeah, long. Right. So mm -hmm. got it all wired up, tested it and it all seemed to work well. Yeah it's convenient having it right there now. Mm -hmm. We were having a lot of not not supercharged days on the solar charger from the gray skies. So Michigan has really gray winters. 
when we have a sunny day, like everyone comes outside and just soaks it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, today was really sunny. Sunday was really sunny. Yeah. So I'm sure we got a full charge. In fact, yesterday when I saw the little light on the Energizer, it was blinking yellow, red, yellow, yeah. or green, red, green, red, which mm -hmm. means it's it's low. Right. So today should have charged it back up fully. And now that it's not running it's only as much, charging half of what it needed to. Right. Good job. Thanks. Cookie decorating time. And my favorite thing to do, usually the kids are with me, but this year, like everyone's schedule just didn't work out. We usually have a cookie decorating contest, <clears throat> but I love doing it. So you snooze, you lose. I got the party this afternoon. I got to make cookies for, so that's what we're doing. And I use the royal icing recipe, so it dries hard. Can they see all my sprinkles? Mm -hmm. I got lots of sprinkles. I've been saving them for a long time. Oh no, stop. So my, uh, I love decorating sugar cookies and it's like, a serious subject in this house. <laughs> Don't come decorate sugar cookies with me unless you're bringing your A-game. We usually have a cookie decorating contest mm -hmm. between me and the kids and he's always the judge. When kids get older, life just gets too busy. So it was mom by herself for the first time this year. Abigail did decorate one right out the door. <laughs> she was going to whatever she was going to. And uh, of course, I was getting ready for the my annual Christmas girls party. So I needed to bring those as gifts for all the girls. We just had a great time. We always do a white elephant. So I had spent some of the day baking up or not baking, uh, mixing up a homemade a whole bunch of homemade beauty products to put in a fun gift basket topped that gift basket with some of the cinnamon rolls and a cookie tin. So with Rachel gone for the evening, I kept myself busy, took a shower, got clean, and finally filmed the rendering oh, of yeah. beeswax video that yeah. has been on my list for two months. Guys, I made him, <laughs> I, I made him move it to the shed. Get it out of the house. If you're not gonna do this, move it to the shed. When you're ready to do it, it'll be there for you. So I got that done. My dad stopped by and visited me for a little while in the afternoon. And that pretty much wrapped up Saturday, I think. Yeah, I got home at bedtime. So we chit-chatted for a little bit and off to bed. Yep. Sunday, honestly, I've been so crazy busy with just Christmas packing and or Christmas wrapping, Christmas baking. That Pack, the, packing for your trip. Packing for my trip that the house got a little bit out of control. So we spent the morning just tidying up, cleaning and uh, no made, big, no big breakfast. No, no big breakfast. I had cinnamon rolls. <laughs> And you made yourself something and some sausage and eggs, kind of plain. Right. And then, like you mentioned, it was a glorious day today. How warm did it get? Like mid forties? Forty, yeah, uh, forty four or something yeah. like that. Oh, it was so nice. The sun was shining. So we got outside, and I needed his help to find a piece of wood. So most of the morning chores are done. Ran some errands back home. Rachel has a Christmas present that she wants to, I don't think it's a Christmas present, a present that she wants to make for someone. So we're out here looking through wood. I did want to show you guys this big old tree that fell. We had a windstorm like a month ago. It was perfectly fine because the thing's been dead. It had to come down anyways. But fortunately it fell right where we wanted it to. I would have had to try to cut it and make it fall there myself, so more firewood to cut up. We did plant grass in most of this wood area that we cleared this year. And I see that the grass is coming up, so that's awesome. And we're just looking through these wood piles, trying to figure out which piece of wood is going to be perfect for what she has in mind. 
Find any over here you like? No, not really. I mean, so I need a very specific piece of wood for a project. I thought that was cool, how, but it's too small, how two trees grew together. That one's the same way, but it's too small, but it still has the bark on it. That one's kind of cool because it's gnarly looking, but I think it's not strong enough. You can go back to that other one? Yeah, I think so. We just have to dig it out of the pile. You do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so she found the one she wants. It's down there. It is. But we should only have to take off like that row. Okay, that might just roll, so be careful. That's a cool one. The only thing it's missing, oh no, there's a good scar. So I was looking for ones with scars in it. <clears> hey, <throat> okay. thank you. So with the wood found, the piece that I wanted, we took it back to the garage and I needed his help making a very clean cut, something I wouldn't have to spend like hours sanding. So he looked around and unfortunately his bandsaw is not working right now, which would have probably been the ideal tool, but he got his, what do you call that? Japanese saw thing? Yeah, a little, little Japanese pole saw. Yeah. And we started using that. <laughs> we realized pretty quick we were gonna be there for about seven hours, I think. Right, so we switched to, but fine, let's get the chainsaw and let's just see if we can do one clean chainsaw cut without up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. And it worked pretty good. I only had to sand for a little bit mm -hmm. and got the product that I was looking for in the end. Mm -hmm. So probably after next weekend, you'll see what I did with that. Um, and I think it's gonna turn out cute. Yeah, me too. Chainsaws in the garage make a big mess. <laughs> yes, they do. And I know we were not being safe at all. We realized that. Mm -hmm. I should have had safety glasses on. I probably shouldn't have been holding it with my hands. One other thing that I did wrap up when I was out there is our plow that goes on our four-wheeler for plowing snow in the winter had been removed from the four-wheeler in order to transport our pigs. Mm -hmm. Put it back on today. Um, pretty simple task, but needed to be done. We're not quite sure if winter's really going to happen this year. Yeah. But just in case I need to be ready. Right. So far, no luck for a white Christmas. No. So we're still holding out that it might happen, but your mom and Jerry texted us that they were going to come by and get some of them Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. And they stopped by. My and mom said she was really good this year. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so they stopped by just to, uh, for a quick visit to take part in some cookies. Did oh, and the funny thing about when they got here, like they walked in the door so when we got when we got done with the wood stuff in the garage, I took the little piece of wood that we were working on and I threw it over on the side of our garage on our wood chip pile. Where yeah, where all those fresh wood chips just got dumped a couple right. weeks ago. And so they walked in the door and they're like, Hey, that piece of wood you put on your wood chip pile is still burning. I'm like, what are you talking about? Burning. They're like, Yeah, there's, there's like smoke coming off of it. <laughs> so we went outside, sure enough, the wood's not on fire. Our giant pile of wood chips is composting so heavily, so fast <laughs> and so heavily, it's the pile smoking. <laughs> I had to actually climb up on top of it and dig my hands down in there just to make sure I didn't accidentally throw something on there that didn't need to be there. And it's just yeah. composting. Yeah, which made me super excited. It's doing what we wanted to do, and it just got to be such a warm, hot, sunny day that it was. Mm -hmm just optimized. Well, you know so. what a lot of it is? And when I started digging in there, you know how a lot of it was pine? Yeah. There's so much green material in there from the pine needles. It's mm. the- Smoking. Smoking. That's good though. It's gonna be so good and ready in the spring when we lay it all down um, mm. to extend our cover rows on our orchard, so. That was our weekend. It was a fun one, busy one. It, feel short as we talk about it, but we got 
a lot of things accomplished here close mm -hmm. to the holiday season. Yeah, I'm pleased. I really like it when, and we've, we've called to action a few times of, hey, let us know what you guys did this weekend down in the comments. And I really like reading mm -hmm. about what it is that you guys are up to. So do it again. Leave us some comments and tell us what you're up to. Absolutely. Next weekend's going to be a little bit tricky with our weekend in review because I'm not going to be here, but I'm going to try to send Todd some footage that he can pull together. So it'll probably just be you Monday telling people how our weekend went. Could be. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.